the principle, a lot of this is, uh, has already been talked about in some of the previous talks. So I guess uh, uh, this, we can quickly go through this. Uh, uh, I will then introduce uh, a, a choice of n equals 1 deformation for uh, n equals 2 of the theory. It is uh, these deformations that help us construct these n equals 1 advantages, uh, which, which we found that they flow to other such as theories. Um, I'll briefly talk about obtaining IR uh, superconformity theory data via A maximization. Uh, but, and, and then, uh, uh, in the course of the talk, it will become clear that uh, these inputs from Lagrangians, uh, some of these inputs from Lagrangians, uh, uh, should experience the enhancement in the IR, hence giving rise to superconformal uh, theories of, uh, of type Argyris Douglas. And uh, from, from this, I'll be able to compute the full subconformal index of other Douglas theories uh, of, of, of this type, A1DN type. Okay? So, other Douglas theories are 4D equals 2 SCFTs, living at special loci on a Coulomb branch of N equals 2 supersymmetric gauge theories. These were the first papers that studied them. Um, at the special loci, uh, particles with uh, mutually non local electromagnetic charges become massless. This implies that we cannot write a Lagrangian describing the system, and uh, which, which also implies that Archer's Douglas theories must be inherently strongly coupled with CFT. Okay, a more modern approach uh, of, of obtaining, constructing these Archer's Douglas theories was uh, invented in these papers uh, where they considered M wrapping M5 brains on a sphere with uh, one irregular and one uh, regular puncture. By irregular and regular puncture, I mean that also you can think of some uh, Hitchin field living on this sphere, and, and, and then uh, the, the boundary conditions of the Hitchin field are said that it has a simple pole at the regular function, and it has higher order poles at the regular function. Okay. Um, central charges for the, so, so, so even though these are just Douglas theories are not Lagrangian, uh, a lot of, uh, we, we still know quite a bit, bit about them. For example, central charges of Archer Douglas theories were first computed holographically and then by the theoretic methods in these papers. The BPS spectrum uh, was uh, studied very carefully in uh, these series of papers. Um, recently, the Shu, McDonald, and Holler to Wood limits of the subconformal indices were also obtained. Uh, you can look at these papers for the for, for fact, uh, for, for, for these limits, uh, these indices. However, um, a general prescription to obtain the full subconformal conform index is not yet known. And this is uh, in, basically because of uh, the lack of any Lagrangian that, that we can use to describe our Douglas Douglas theory. So in principle, we cannot obtain the subconformal index by, by regular localization procedure. Okay? So, so uh, for, for the time being, I'll only talk about our Douglas 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 theory have uh, a, 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 nom a nomenclature scheme where they're uh, labeled by two Lie algebras uh, uh, of ADE type. Um, in principle, I will only focus on uh, algebras of uh, algebras of the theories, which are labeled by A1, AK, and also A1, BK. So the central charges and operator dimensions of A1, AK type uh, algebras of the theories uh, were obtained in these papers. Well, it, 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 these algebras of the theories were obtained in these papers by Hori, Gucci, and collaborators. Uh, they are obtained by going to the algebras at this point on the Coulomb branch of uh, SUK plus one pure super young wells. Uh, the adjectives at this point, by adjectives at this point, I mean that, uh, to, that, that the Coulomb branch parameters are tuned to have uh, this, uh, this, this, this set of uh, values. And, and, and uh, at the adjectives at this theory, the central charges were given by these formulas. So, so here, if, if k, this k is equal to n, where n is some integer, then the central charge a and c are given by uh, of this form. And the operator dimension. There are n plus one operators uh, which which have these dimensions. Similarly, if k is two n plus one, then the central charges have the, uh, this form, and uh, again n plus one operators with dimensions given by this formula. Um, for k equals two n, so the, this set, uh, these theories do not have any global symmetry, while for k equals two n plus one, these theories enjoy a u one global symmetry. For k equals three, uh, the U and global symmetry actually gets enhanced to an SU2 uh, global symmetry. The full superconformal index of uh, this, uh, these, these theories was uh, recently computed by my collaborators, uh, Mario Shri and Song, in this paper that I uh, mentioned earlier in, in, in June and uh, July. Um, 
So similarly, the simple charges and operator dimensions of uh, A1 BK type uh, AD theories uh, are given here. So, so they, these theories were obtained by going to maximally critical point of n equals to SUK minus one BH theory where the two fundamental hypers. Uh, the Coulomb branch operators have a dimension uh, two minus two i over k. For the, the, the now by 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 this, the, this is the box of k minus one over two. So uh, largest integer smaller than k minus one over two. Uh, for when k is odd, uh, the central charges are of this form. When k is even, the central charges of this form. Okay. Again, when K is even, the adjust of the A1 DK type adjust of the theory can join an SU2 global symmetry. While for K equals uh, uh, 2 and plus 2, so sorry, this is, this was 2 and plus 1, sorry, sorry. This is supposed to be 2 and plus 1. Um, for K equals uh, 2 and plus 2, the global symmetry is SU2 times uh, U1. And when K equals 4, the SU2 times U1 uh, global symmetry gets enhanced to SU3. The flavor symmetry charge of the SU2 flavor symmetry, so all of these have an SU2 flavor symmetry. Uh, so the flavor symmetry charge of SU2 flavor symmetry has also been calculated and it is given by this value, where k is the even dk. And, and, and the superconformal index of uh, these theories will be the subject of this count. Okay, so, so, so to obtain the superconformal index, as I, as I mentioned, that we, we, we compute, we, we obtain some n equals 1 Lagrangians by deforming n equals 2 theories. Uh, the n equals 1 uh, deformations that, have, that, that we introduce are described as follows. So we consider an n equals 2 superconformal theory, which we label as uh, curly T U V. And uh, in principle, this uh, CFT has a flavor symmetry F. Uh, th this is a general procedure for any uh, uh, n equals 2 superconformal theory, by the way, with, with some flavor symmetry F. So corresponding to F, uh, we, the, the, there's always a moment map operator mu. This uh, operator mu is the scalar in the current multiplet of uh, n equals to current multiplet for F. And uh, it, what we try to do is we try to deform uh, this uh, SCFT by, by, by introducing the gauge singlet M, which transforms in the joint representation of F, and switching on the superpotential uh, of this form. So, so since M is uh, just a current multiplet, it, then this, this kind of deformation immediately breaks the SCFT, n equals two super supersymmetry to n equals one supersymmetry. Okay. What we do now is we, we now switch on some. Uh, we, we give a very potent web to M. Uh, this this very potent web is this uh, rho sigma plus, where, sig where the very potent web uh, gives an SU two embedding uh, of into F, where F is this Lie algebra of, uh, for, for the flavor symmetry. So, so, but by that potent, uh, basically the sigma plus is the raising operator for this SU2. And uh, what I'm doing is, uh, one way to think about this, this, this uh, net potent embedding is that it tells me how uh, the fundamental <coughs> representation of this uh, Lie algebra F uh, decomposes into representations of SU2. And then this rho sigma plus is just the, the re representation of uh, raising operator on, on that fundamental representation of F. Okay, so then but due to this web, the flavor symmetry of uh, my theory will get broken to the commutant of SU2 and F. Okay, so we, what we do then is uh, integrate out the massive modes. Uh, we also consider fluctuations around the web of these fluctuations. Some of the fluctuations will correspond to Goldstone modes. And uh, the Goldstone modes uh, are derivatively coupled. So they, they always have uh, higher dimensional couplings in the Lagrangian. This is the regular CCWC mechanism. So, so in the IR, in principle, all these Goldstone modes will be coupled. So, so we remove these Goldstone modes, integrate out the massive modes, and in the, in, in doing in, in, in the process of doing this, we obtain uh, a Lagrangian uh, which is n equals one, and uh, it gives rise to a fan-like structure, which was described in this paper by me and uh, by, by my collaborators and me. Uh, so, so for example, let's consider some uh, SUN gauge group, which has a hypermultiplet, n, n hypermultiplet, so it has some SUN symmetry. This is the meson that we coupled to this hypermultiplet. If we now turn on the web uh, for rho sigma plus, for example, if I turn on a web such that the fundamental representation, uh, which is n-dimensional of SUN, uh, decomposes into n1 singlets, n2 doublets, and, n, and, and so on until n5, five-dimensional representations of SU2, 
if I, if I give the corresponding web, then my uh, flavor symmetry S1 will break down into S of uh, UN1 times up to UN5. And, and then by doing this process, I'll, I'll get some fan-like structure like this. So this is, this is exactly what we call the fan, just, just, just because it looks like a fan. OK, so, so generically, the above procedure is expected to give rise to some n equals 1 SCFTs in the IR. Um, and and, and uh, the n equals 1 u one r symmetry is not uh, usually preserved along the RG flow. It can mix with other axial symmetries of the theory. And, and, and the exact R -R symmetry in the IR is uh, determined by this A maximization principle, which was introduced by Tullegator and Bent. In certain cases, it might happen that uh, the dimensions of the gauge invariant operators in the chiral ring is the unitarity bound. So basically, for CFTs, there's a unitarity bound, which tells us that. For all gauge invariant scalars, their dimension should be greater than or equal to one. And in principle, if they're equal to one, then they must become free fields. So what we do is, uh, if we can compute the exact R charge, we can uh, relate the R charge to the operator dimension. And uh, by doing that, we can compute the operator dimensions in the IR. And it might happen that, that we obtain, we find that the operator dimension is less than one, which, which as, as, as I was saying, is, is, is below the unitarity bound, so this definitely cannot happen. So the interpretation is that this operator whose dimension uh, fell below the unitarity bound actually became decoupled from the theory. Okay, so, so you have to remove it from the theory before you proceed uh, to do anything else. And the proper way of uh, handling this uh, and then correcting the central charge to, 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 to take care of the decoupled operator was uh, was uh, shown how to do this in, in this paper by Kutasov, Konachev, and uh, Sahakin, et cetera, and collaborators. So, so this, is, this is the paper that, 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 that all this operator decoupling was first talked about uh, in, in, the, in the context of A-maximization. OK, so, so um, some simple examples. Uh, let's, let's move on to some simple explicit examples. So some simple examples of uh, uh, Lagrangian and equals to SCFTs are given by for example, SUN gauge theory with uh, two and fundamental hypers. Uh, SPN gauge theory is with four and fundamental half hypers. Uh, and SON gauge theory with two and minus four half hypers in the vector representation. And the corresponding flavor symmetries are here. The flavor symmetry is usually SU2L unless this is SU2 when it becomes SO8. Um, for SPN, the gauge symmetry, is, the, the flavor symmetry is SO4N plus four. And for SON, the flavor symmetry is SP2N minus four. Okay. So we consider the n equals 1 deformations of uh, these theories, as uh, was described earlier. And we found that for some specific classes of uh, these webs, there is a SUSY enhancement in the IR. And the RG flow drives the theory into an n equals 2 fixed point corresponding to A1AN and A1DN AD theory. Okay, so A1AN, this, this, this phenomena was found by Mariochi and Song in the previous paper. This is what we found in the paper we published uh, recently. Um, so for example, if I consider SUN theory with 2N fundamental hypermultiplex, its flavor symmetry is SU2N plus U1. This U1 is a baryonic symmetry that was already there. Um, the the nilpotent embedding, uh, in general, for any SUK, its nilpotent embeddings uh, are in multiple -one correspondence with the uh, integer partitions of K. Here, in principle, we want to, gain, we want to break this uh, SU2N flavor symmetry by nilpotent embedding, so nilpotent webs to M, so we will need K to be 2N. Um, for K, so for N equals 1 deformation with, uh, so, so we found, it was found that if you consider uh, a deformation, N equals 1 deformation, with, such that the web of M is uh, given by the principal uh, embedding, the principal embedding is basically the fundamental uh, representation of SUN goes into uh, n-dimensional representation of SU2. So, so, so if we consider that embedding and, and, and give M a web which is the raising operator for n-dimensional representation of SU2, then uh, we found, it was found that the IR fixed point uh, is said that its operator spectrum and central charge is matched with that of A1, A2n minus 1 Archer Douglas theories. As I said, this was the subject of this paper by my collaborators. Um, in, in a, we also found, we found that uh, when the web is given by next to principal embedding, uh, which is an embedding which only preserves a U1 symmetry, uh, a U1 squared symmetry, the data at the IR fixed point matches with that of A1B2 engaged here. So SUSY enhancement, so, so in both cases we, know, we, we infer that there must be SUSY enhancement in the IR, 
And in the second case, as I said, that the principal next to principal embedding basically only preserves the U1 squared subgroup of the SU2 and flavor symmetry, uh, SU2 and times U1 flavor symmetry, and that it, it gets enhanced to SU2 times U1. Uh, uh, it must be getting enhanced to SU2 times U1, which was the flavor symmetry of this uh, Arger surface here. Okay. So uh, similarly, if I consider an SPN gauge theory with 4n plus 4 hy half hypers, then the flavor symmetry is SO4n four plus 4, and the nil potent embeddings of uh, any SOK are in one-to-one -one, uh, correspondence with uh, those partitions of K where even parts appear with even multiplicity. So uh, however, uh, when, when K is even, there is some uh, subtlety by Z2 auto automorphism. Uh, which will not be relevant in this discussion, uh, so I'll not bother about that. And for our purposes, we can always treat the correspondence to be one to one. Uh, in that case, we found that uh, when n is uh, given by principal embedding, again, in the, the, the principal embedding takes the 4n plus 4 representation of uh, SO 4n plus 4 into 4n plus 4 dimensional representation of SU2. And uh, no, no, not that. Sorry, sorry. It, 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 since since, since it, it is constrained by, by this rule, so the 4n plus 4 dimensional representation of SO4 uh, of this group goes into 4n plus 1 uh, plus a singlet of uh, SU2. So this, again, breaks all the flavor symmetry, and it was found to reduce to A1A2 and Archer Douglas theory in this paper. We found that if I give a web which, uh, which uh, breaks, uh, which, which is labeled by uh, 4n plus 4 represent uh, the vector representation of SO going into 4n plus 1 uh, dimensional representation of SU2 and three singlets, that theory reduces to this uh, A1D2 n plus 1 Arger Douglas theory. Again, there is Susie enhancement in, uh, in the IR in both cases. Okay, so, so the same features of the above Arger flow are the following. Uh, after deformation, the matter content of the theory consists of an adjoint chiral field phi. This was a scalar in the vector multiplet of the SU2, the, the scalar vector, vector multiplet of the gauge group that we started with. Um, some fundamental and anti fundamental hypermultiplets Q and Q total, and a number of gauge singlets MJ. Uh, uh, the gauge invariant chiral ring operators are given by trace phi to the K and MJ, so of this theory. And we find that along the RG flow, all of these trace phi to the K get decoupled, and some of the MJs get uh, hit the unitarity bar. The gate singlet fields MJ that remain coupled to the interacting theory are in one to one correspondence with the Coulomb branch operators of the corresponding other disturbance theories. Okay. So, uh, as an explicit example, let's consider the A1D4 theory. We obtain, one way to obtain this A1D4 theory is by deforming the N equals to H2 two super Yang melts coupled to four, uh, four hypermultiplets. Um, this theory has an SO8 flavor symmetry, but for the time being, we'll only focus on the SU4 times U1 subgroup of the SO8 flavor symmetry and introduce uh, ga these gate singlet fields M, transforming the joint of this SU4, and give it a web uh, corresponding to taking the, uh, the fundamental of SU4, oh, sorry, breaking into, decomposing into a triplet representation and a singlet of SU2. Uh, this will leave a U1 squared uh, subgroup of SO8 unbroken. The matter content of the deformed theory is given by four chiral doublets of SU2, and a joint chiral field phi and five chiral singlets labeled as MI, where I goes from zero to two, M1 twiddle and M1 twiddle prime. And the superpotential is uh, some, something like this. This superpotential is uh, not uh, micro little complex, but it, it's basically just obtained directly by integrating out all the massive modes. So, there's nothing too mysterious about the potential. Um, upon computing the R charges and operator dimensions by maximization, we find that this operator plays phi squared, and the fields M0, M1, M1 twiddle, and M1 twiddle prime decouple. And only M2 remains uh, in the chiral ring. Uh, at the IFX point, we find that this theory has central charges 7 over 12 and 2 over 3, and the dimension of M2 is 3 halves. And it can be checked uh, from my previous slides that these are exactly the central charges of A1D4 theory. And in A1D4 theory, there is a single uh, uh, a single operator uh, which has dimension three half. So this is exactly why we believe that this theory flows to A1D4 theory. We also computed the superconformal index uh, uh, using this Lagrangian description. Uh, let me skip this slide where I describe how we can convert n equals one uh, superconformal index into an n equals two superconformal index. The magic 
here let me just emphasize on the fact that the magic here of, of converting n equals 1 into n equals 2 so we can form an index lies in the fact that the n equals 1 theories by, described by us have essentially have an, an extra non-RHL symmetry which comes from, uh, which becomes this uh, combination of n equals 2 uh, R symmetries. Okay? So, um, but, but by computing the, the corresponding superconformal index, we can take the various limits, uh, like Shue, McDonald, and uh, Shue, McDonald, and uh, Paul Littlewood limits, which were described in some earlier papers, and we found an exact match with the existing results. <coughs> so that was nice. Once again, coming back to the A1D, for example, um, I, the, so the explicit superconformal index takes this form. In principle, this coefficient, uh, it has been explained in this paper by Rastelli and collaborators, that the coefficient of t to the 4 v inverse term has to come from the conserved currents, uh, conserved global currents in the theory. And uh, let me remind you, we started with the U1 square. The, our Lagrangian had a U1 square global symmetry, which we claim should enhance to SU3. This should imply that the, this coefficient should have uh, rearranged itself into, into the joint representation of SU3, which is exactly what we found. So again, this is a non-trivial check of our uh, claims. And uh, similarly, other uh, similar limits uh, match with the known results. And uh, so, so, so this is how we compute the A1D for AD theory. And then and doing similar things, we were able to check that in general, the superconformal indices, etc., pass various consistency check with A1 uh, DL theories. Okay. To summarize, uh, Arjun uh, Arjun's theories are some uh, believe to be some of the simplest known n equals to SCFTs. They are, this is primarily because if you com com consider the chiral algebra associated to these n equals to SCFTs, they s correspond to certain minimal models. The spectrum consists of, the spectrum of these are just of the consists of massless particles with uh, mutually non-local electromagnetic charges, making them inherently non-local. Uh, we found n equals one of the that appear to experience Sunni enhancement along the RJ flow. And uh, the, the data at their IR fixed points correspond to just of the theory data. Using this, uh, we were able to compute the full superconformal index and found non-trivial checks, uh, consider, consider various non-trivial checks for, the, for, for uh, the superconformal indices. Um, however, the mechanics governing the SUSI enhancement is still not clear. Um, we are not even sure like, how to write uh, Lagrangians that can, uh, that can describe other general RGS that were scary that were described in, for example, Dan Z's paper and uh, other similar collaborations. So um, this is still some, some work we are, I'm doing with my other collaborators. So thank you. Question or comments? Uh, so for computation of super conformal index, uh, can we just use the uh, formula for the Lagrangian? Yes. So 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 what exactly I did? What I, the part that I skipped was in the Lagrangian theory. Of course, uh, if I write the n equals one super conformal index, I have these three gases P and Q for these, and then there's a there's a an anomalous non R symmetry, but is which we call zeta. And, and, and it happens if I look at the n equals 1 subalgebra of an n equals 2 theory, then n equals 2 theories have only one non axial R symmetry, no non R axial symmetry from the n equals 1 algebra point of view, which is this combination I3 minus R over 2, where I3 is the Cartan of the SU2 R, and this small r is the U1 R of uh, n equals 2 algebra. Okay? So that implies that if, if indeed what we are claiming is correct, then this axial symmetry that we are seeing in our n equals 1 Lagrangian must become this combination, right? So, so if you now look at the n equals 2 subconformal index, it has this form. And in principle, you can redefine this data fugacity by, by this, where beta is some scaling parameter, which can be picked by looking at the operator dimensions. And you can then, like, if you do this, you, you, you can, can convert this into that uh, n equals 2 subconformal index. So, so in principle, the, the point is that there is just one Axial symmetry which can mix with that, which, which, which is there in our Lagrangians. And, and that can only be this combination. So that's why uh, it was not that difficult to convert the superconformal index into the superconformal index. Um, yeah, so, so that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.